with the car off the trailer and out of the garage I can actually have a decent look at the state of it and the state of it is it needs a wash. Filthy and grimy. Taking a look at the interior, it looks really quite tidy. I'm pleased with that. All of the door cards are in really good condition. All of the switches and dials and everything in the interior appear to be in really good condition. None of them are broken. Factory dash. A couple of rips. Don't really like the steering wheel, but it'll do the job for now. Bird's nest under here will get cleaned up. Um, some old alarm wiring and things like that in there. I've already ordered a new dim pocket for here because I'm totally absent minded and I'll throw my phone in there one day and lose it forever. The interior lights even not crap. The interior is in really good condition with the exception of one thing. The seats, I won't be repairing these. These are just going to go. While the seats are out, we can have a better look at the carpet. A little bit of rusting around the mount points. Overall, it's really good. For the meantime, I have this Racetech 100 and that will be doing the job for now. Need to sort out some mountings, but that'll work. The panels on the car are really straight. There are no stints or dents anywhere. Both sides, nice and straight. Um, the front quarter here and headlight cover and also the front bumper are all mismatched. A couple of years ago, I did get given some additional panels and it looks like this passenger quarter should sit on. It is not in great condition. Um, little chips and things all over it. But it's definitely better than the completely mismatched panel. And for an 80s convertible, the roof is really good. There is one loose set of stitching there, but it's not a hole and the roof is watertight. I don't know if it's operational, um, haven't got it hooked up yet, but just in terms of the state of it, the roof is in really good condition. The passenger door has really good paint, uh, no scratches. If we come around to the driver's door, some dings there likely from being opened into things over the years and quite a bit of scuffing in here and I'm happy with that, I'm not too worried about the scuffing. Broken indicator here at the front, um, I'm not too worried because I think I am replacing this bumper. This is my garage currently being borrowed by the Corolla. This is my spare bumper from my previous FC which was a 20B FC drag car turned Track car, uh, definitely not my kind of thing. These wheels will be going on the car. Um, my old Simmons wheels. I understand they're a little bit dated and not what everyone particularly likes, but I really like the look of them. I think they suit the generation of car really well, and I love the colour. So they will be going on. Overall, from what I've seen of the car, looking over the body, the panels, the interior, there is nothing there that should stop me from meeting my goal of getting it running for the first round of Superlap this season. Still a bit wet in here from having a little clean up. All very stock, all very messy. We'll have a look at this more in depth later on.